WWE Raw's final episode before SummerSlam 2024 was a mixed bag. Despite a standout segment and some solid matches, much of the show fell short of expectations. As we gear up for the biggest event of the summer, let's review the go-home episode of the Red Brand and examine what worked and what didn't. Here's a closer look at the highlights and the letdowns. Number 5, Best and Worst, Damage Control are now baby faces? Turning damage control into faces is a positive move for WWE Raw's women's division, considering the talent and popularity of all three members. However, the execution left something to be desired. It wasn't entirely clear if it was a definitive babyface turn based on how events unfolded. EO Sky, Kairi Sane, and Dakota Kai did attack the heel trio of Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler, and Zoe Stark, but their mannerisms afterward didn't notably change. Additionally, Damage Control didn't get any promo time in front of the fans, which could have solidified their new role as faces. Number 4, Worst, A Tad Disappointing Despite the action announced for WWE Raw, much of it was underwhelming. Matches like Carlito vs. Jey Uso took up time that could have been better used for the main event between Gunther and Finn Balor. Their first ever encounter felt rushed and didn't reach its full potential. While Gunther and Balor delivered a solid performance, it fell short of being the epic match fans hoped for. Hopefully, Gunther's upcoming match against Damian Priest at SummerSlam will be much better. The overall in-ring action on WWE Raw needs to improve next week, especially given the talent on the roster. Number 3, Best, Progress with the Wyatts On WWE Raw, the identities of all members of the Wyatt Six were revealed. Joe Gacy, Eric Rowan, and Dexter Loomis unmasked themselves before attacking the Creed brothers, while Chad Gable managed to escape up the ramp. The Wyatt Six will make their in-ring debut on next week's WWE Raw, with Casey, Rowan, and Loomis facing Gable and the Creeds in a six-man tag team match. This marks significant progress for Uncle Howdy's eerie stable. However, the pressure is now on them to perform well in the ring. Finally, there's some exciting action to anticipate from the Wyatts. Number 2, Worst, That's the End? For nearly two months, Karion Cross has been targeting Xavier Woods, criticizing his lack of single success. This animosity fueled the feud between the New Day and the Final Testament, with Cross even injuring Kofi Kingston. As the feud concluded on WWE Raw, one would have expected Woods to triumph and dispel all doubts, especially since he has beaten Cross before. However, that wasn't the case tonight. The former NXT champion defeated Woods, making the entire feud feel somewhat pointless. Number 1, Best, the perfect SummerSlam preview on WWE Raw. The highlight of WWE Raw came right at the beginning. The show opened with a chaotic segment featuring all participants in the most anticipated match at SummerSlam. Drew McIntyre and CM Punk had to listen as Seth Rollins laid out the rules for their match on Saturday, before things descended into chaos. The palpable animosity was electrifying, with all three superstars constantly interrupting each other. Rollins announced it would be a no-disqualification match, asserting that neither McIntyre nor Punk could push him around. Meanwhile, McIntyre and Punk exchanged heated words, avoiding physical conflict at all costs. The segment's climax saw Drew McIntyre dramatically reveal CM Punk's bracelet, setting the stage for an explosive encounter. The Cleveland Browns stadium might just erupt on Saturday from all the intensity. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!